Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to look at how we can upgrade the Gradle wrapper. It's very, very easy, but I've seen a lot of people, including myself to begin with, actually deleting the folder, the Gradle folder, and uh, fumbling a bit around, also deleting the Gradle W script and the Gradle W.bat script. But that is a very, that's an easier way to do that. So right now um, I'm in the folder here where I have a lot of my projects uh, here. First of all, I can start with looking at which version I'm actually using. Currently, I'm running Gradle 6.1.1. And if you are running SDK Man, and I, I uh, yeah, I, I will uh, recommend you doing that if you are running Ubuntu or Mint, uh, Linux Mint or something like that, or just some operating system that is supported by SDK Man, then use SDK Man. It's it is it is uh, awesome. It's really really good. And I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you why. Because now I can see that I have 6.1.1, Gradle version 6.1.1, but um, I would actually like to use another version. So first of all, I will list the versions available. So okay, lists, Gradle. Then I will get the, the versions of Gradle that I can actually use. I can I can run uh, up to 6.4, release candidate 4, if that's what I want to. But I actually, I like stable versions. So I will actually, we can see this is the current one right here. With, there's a small arrow there, the, or greater than sign. Under this, all all the versions with stars. That's one of uh, that's the uh, Gradle versions that I've installed. But uh, yeah, the one with the greater than sign that is the one that is the current using. So the way, if I want to change the the one that I'm using, I would like to use six three instead. Then I copy that version and then I write SDK use Gradle and then I can paste the six three right there. The reason why I'm copy pasting is because. If I'm defense is dealing with Java, then the version number can be pretty long because it's uh, it's also the, the distributor in uh, dealing with the Java SDK is also included in the. So now we're using uh, Gradle version 6.3. So let's just write Gradle run my version and see what happens. You can see I'm using JVM 14. This is Java 14 I'm using, and I'm using Gradle 6.3 right there. So let me just check uh, Java. SDK Java list. Oh, it's Java. Sorry, SDK is Java. This, sorry. And this is all the versions you can see. That, yeah, and then I say that I actually wanted to use uh, 1107 instead of the new 14. Then I'll write SDK, use Java, and then that long version number you saw there. And that is why I'm, I'm always copy pasting the version number. Then we can write Gradle. And then we can see that now we're running Gradle version 6.3 and we have the JVM now running version 11. And let us try to go to the RabbitMQ projects and then we can write Gradle and minus minus version. And what will happen here is actually it will actually find out that I have Gradle wrapper installed in a folder and then it will actually run the Gradle wrapper instead. And the cool thing about the Gradle wrapper is that uh, then it doesn't matter which version of Gradle uh, people have on their uh, own machine, the Gradle wrapper will actually have Gradle uh, included. So that's if it says 601 right here, then the Gradle 601 is in this project right here. That means that then the, the chance for it to build is, of course, uh, much higher. It, it should build because now it's, uh, it's the same version as the developer who actually uh, committed and pushed this code. In this situation, of course, it's me. And you can see here we have the Gradle W uh, script right there. And then we have a Gradle folder. And we have the Gradle W.bats for the Windows users right there. Gradle W, that is for the Linux users. Let us try to look inside the Gradle folder. Here we have a, a wrapper folder. Let's try to look inside that. Here we have two files, the Gradle wrapper.jar, and this is the version 601. So that is the one that, that is uh, the Gradle itself. Program package that is being downloaded where, when when uh, when when we are when we're using the Gradle wrapper, and then we have some properties right there. We can go to look inside the Gradle properties. Want to properties? And I've seen people uh, deleting these folders and trying to manipulate uh, this line right here because uh, and it, it, it act, the fun thing is that it, it actually kind of works if you. Uh, manipulate this line right here and then you can be lucky that you actually hit, hit the right version and then it actually works uh, but um, so very often uh, the, the the gradle w script is actually also updated so um yeah so 
So you can uh, you should do it the right way. And the right way, I'll show you that. Once again, I'll just write rail management version. So we remember that this is 601 right now. So that means that we were built with the cradle with 601. Now I want to upgrade this to 63 instead. And the way, way, way I do that is uh, cradle, and then I'll just write grabber minus minus cradle minus version equal to oh, a, a space 6.3 like this. Let's see what happens. Starting daemon. See what happens now. Gonna see if it still works as it should. So, so update. Uh, yeah, use the Gradle wrapper command if you want to change the version. You can also uh, you can also downgrade if you. So let us try again. Gradle minus minus version. Now it downloads a file. It downloads a six dot three file. Okay. Thank you very much for that, Gradle wrapper. That means that that is the program itself. Of course, in this situation, I actually had created that version of Gradle, but it is downloading it anyway. So now you can see now it says six three. You can also downgrade it to something else. What did we have for 601? We can also take 61. Hmm. Let's try to choose that just to play around and do stuff. Um, so that just shows us that we can actually downgrade if that's what we want to. And that means that then you would actually commit the Gradle wrapper and also the, the jar file actually. Very often the people also commit and push the jar file. Jar file. Usually we do not we try to keep binaries out of it if we can, but uh, when it's regarding the wrapper, then uh, it's okay to actually uh, it, uh, place that site in project also. The cool thing about this is that when, when this runs on our Jenkins machine, uh, then it's exactly the same Gradle uh, version as the one that we are running when we run on our local machines and that means that we will get fewer surprises when we try to put place things on our test staging or production environment through Jenkins for instance uh, or Bamboo if you use that, that there's a lot of uh, things in to production um, so but that is actually just what I want to show you use the Gradle wrapper minus minus Gradle minus version base and then the uh, and then the version you want to upgrade the Gradle wrapper too. And the other thing I want to show is use SDK man. If you haven't already installed it, install it right away. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Great evening. Bye bye.